What's up my fellow traders? Time for a little update on one of my live Forex portfolios. This portfolio consists of 24 strategies across the pound yen, euro dollar, and dollar yen. They are automated breakout strategies generated using StrategyQuant's genetic algorithm with inter-strategy correlations never exceeding 0.4. For money management, each strategy only risks 0.5% of capital per trade, and a maximum of six trades can be open at any time. So total portfolio risk never exceeds 3%. I don't interfere with the strategies in any way and spend about three minutes per week checking for runtime errors. Over the past six months, this portfolio has returned 20% with only a 6% maximum drawdown. As is typical of trend following, win rate was low at 38%, but the average winner was 2.4 times the average loser, giving a comfortable expectancy. Last week was a fun time to be trend following. When there was a monster move in the Japanese yen markets, heavily rumored to be caused by the Bank of Japan's intervention to support their currency. These occasional outsized moves make trend following fun. Let's filter by magic number and analyze the performance of one of the dollar yen strategies. This strategy looks for three consecutive increases of the 20 period standard deviation, which is an indicator of market volatility. Sell stops are placed using a multiple of the 50 period Bollinger Band range and I ride the trend for two days until the Friday afternoon close. Here's how I'm monitoring the performance of this strategy. For a complete breakdown of this method, I encourage you to read Kevin Davies' book, which is a great introduction to the world of algorithmic trading. I'm plotting the strategy's profit and pips as a function of each trade. This diagonal blue line represents the strategy's expectancy obtained from my 20-year backtest here. I use a fixed 0.01 lots throughout the backtest. The focus is on risk-adjusted returns. Absolute dollar values like net profit are of little importance here. Simply take the total profit in pips divided by the number of trades to find your expectancy in pips. Multiply this by the trade number to get the diagonal. The upper and lower bands indicate the boundaries of normal strategy performance calculated using this formula. To obtain the trade standard deviation, you need the profit of every trade in your backtest. Apply the standard deviation function in Excel to this data. So for example, this is the calculation of the upper band value after four trades. In approximate terms, since I'm using a standard deviation multiple of two, there should only be a 2.5% chance that performance will be below the lower band and a 2.5% chance that performance will be above the upper band. This yellow graph is the actual performance obtained from my FX book. Obviously nothing to complain about now. I will continue trading this strategy, and hopefully performance will continue to match or exceed historical averages. Leave a comment if you've any questions. To learn about strategy quant's genetic algorithm that I use to create this portfolio, check the video at the top. For a complete dollar-yen trading strategy that uses the Arun indicator, check the video at the bottom.